Welcome back to this video guys, I am TS Villa, thank you for joining me. So, I have been playing the Marvel Rivals closed beta testing over on my Twitch channel and off stream with my friends. I can't get enough of it, I absolutely love it. So, I've been playing it for about 45 hours at this point of taking the, uh, the video and I haven't really used Star-Lord. So, we tried to use Star-Lord on my last stream over on Twitch, go give that a follow, TS Villa, same as the YouTube. And we learned how to use him in the practice mode to then went into a lobby and got 32 kills with only one death. And we won. But I'm not going to show you that footage. I'm going to show you some footage of how to use Star-Lord in Marvel Rivals. So you're in the right place. Let's have a look. Okay, guys. This is Star-Lord. We're going to show you the abilities he's got. The first one here is just the R2 button. So I'm playing on the PlayStation 5. Element guns. This is the R2 action, which is the main one you're going to be using. You're going to use both of these guns. Uh, unleash the clip here. You see down here, this is the ammo. We've got 40 ammo here. This is very important for another ability that we use, which is how we use Star Lord to his maximum. Okay. The next one is Galactic Legend. This is his ultimate. And you'll see here that. He's not actually targeted on it. You see the little yellow circle. The yellow circle is near the target. So, obviously, the clips are a lot quicker. It's a rapid fire. See where his target is. And then he's got the little yellow target underneath. So, that, that definitely helps. Um, that clears out absolute mobs. So, we can get rid of the smaller ones out of that way. Rocket propulsion. If you're in a tight spot, this gets you out of it. Um, so you can get one side of the area to the other. Obviously reposition yourself. Uh, there is a cooldown on this. So I'm playing on PlayStation 5. So for me, the button is triangle. But you can see down here, these are the buttons for PC players. Um, so I do not have PC. So it would be less shift. There. Okay. Blaster barrage. Okay. Fire a frenzy a shot. Causing damage to enemies within range. Now, this is part of my suggested combo because it has its own ammo, okay? You see the ammo here? The ammo is not going down whatsoever. It's got its own ammo, which helps us cool down um, with the next ability we've got. Obviously, you can see here, it's doing damage over time to all mobs. So, use this when you are in a fight with multiple characters. Okay. So, this helps because it's got its own ammo. The next ability is the Stellar Shift. This dodges in the direction of movement. And this is the important thing. And swiftly reloads. Okay. So, we're obviously using the ammo here. We've got 40 ammo here. And it's going to reload for us. So, if we watch the action here. There we go. We dodge. Okay. So, to show you what I mean, we'll do it in practice. But here, we're shooting. Look how, take, how long it takes to reload. Look at that reload. One, two, three. So it's about, it's about two or three seconds to reload. Okay. But instead, instead of reloading, we dodge. So we're shooting. Dodge. Shooting. See, it's just reloading. And we're also not just standing still. Uh, we're actually getting away uh, from the action as well. So if we're just standing still, we're an easy target. So we're just dodging out of the way. But we're also reloading at the same time. It is an awesome combination, but there's a cooldown for this. So we got two dodges. There's a cooldown for this. So what we could do is this dodge to then jump into one of these while it's cooling down. And we've still got a dodge. So we will dodge out the way after that. So that's that's two dodges. Um, and we've, we've reloaded as well. Okay. So the passive uh, ability is Adam Warlock enhances the rebirth of Star Lord and Mantis. So if you've got an Adam Warlock in your party, uh, it will revive you. When you die, it will revive you, and you become a cocoon, which is uh, that. This is really awesome because he's only got 250 health. This is awesome. This helps you out massively, especially if you're in the fight and you're doing the uh, blaster barrage. People are going to be trying to get you. Because you're near everyone while you're using that ability. Okay, the suggested combo. Let's have a look and see what the game is suggested. There you go. So instead of reloading, we've got the dodge. We've got another dodge as well. And then he's proposed in there. 
See, now he's come out with a dodge, so he has got one dodge after that. So what I would suggest, if you do this combo, this way round, do this, is dodge out of this. So dodge, when that's done, dodge out of it as well, so that you can then reposition yourself. So we're going to take Star-Lord into practice. I get a headshot, it outright kills him out with one clip. If we don't get a headshot, it leaves a little bit left there. It leaves a little bit left there. So... You can end up being vulnerable here, okay, guys? So, the suggested combo is this, because if you see them, see how long it took. Obviously, we can maneuver Star-Lord. If we're standing still when we're reloading, we are going to get hit. We're going to get hit. Obviously, this guy didn't oh, die when we shot him, so we're going to get hit. So, the suggested combo, guys, that gave us on the screen was basically this and we're moving over we're moving over it's it's reloaded for us it's reloading for us using that in the suggested combo okay so there was the other button which is on the playstation which is the r1 button which is basically this and then it pushed us in as well and by the time this is finished we've got a dodge we've got a dodge obviously the suggested combo told us that it was uh to use the proportion afterwards so this is my suggested combo this is kind of a little bit different we're up in front of the oh, enemy and now we're doing this here instead so we can then dodge out and now we've still got another dodge you see so during during this ability here this ability we're doing damage we're annoying the enemy, but we're also waiting for the extra dodge reload to come back. Okay? But this has its own... See? It's got its own ammo. Okay? So you'll see down the bottom here, just below me, it says 12. If I use this ability, that ammo does not go down. And we're still left with the 12. There we go. Then it reloads. So, that is kind of what I would do. I would... I mean, if you can look at it, jump in, reload, and then we've still got another jump as well. So just just practice around with it. Practice around with Star Lord. He's so much fun. We're jumping out, and then we can just shoot again. We can shoot again. Jump back in. Jump it again. Usually that would have killed our, that would have killed quite a few people as long as they're they're not oh Spider-Man. Spider-Man is tough to kill on this game, guys. So the next thing we need to do is the ultimate. So we've got the ultimate here. It targets near. There you go. So it targets near where you're shooting as well. So obviously it does target where you're shooting, but it also targets near the shooting. This. I'll show you this. Look, there you go. So his normal R2s that okay if we go to the ultimate we go next to it and it will target next to it this is especially very useful for enemies in the air if you have really bad aim like myself see i couldn't get him okay so we're gonna go into battle with star lord this is the fundamentals of what we were doing enjoy the game guys enemies on approach perhaps i should have stayed in my Keep 
am ready to put on a show. Turn around. I'm doing this my way. But the man gets results. Your powers are mine! Judge! Jury! Right out! Don't mess with the amazing spider! Coming up behind. Oh, sweet moves, right? Oh, they do not look happy. He's a sociopath, but the man gets results.
another soul to join my... I'm back, baby! I am ready to put on a show! Closer to saving the world. I am not in control. Well, you can't expect to win them all.